Hi, this is Mike with BlueRoadHome.com with another tutorial on using your Logic 10 sequencer to control your machine to software. This time, however, I wanted to show you how to use multiple machine groups using only one instance of machine in Logic. I did a previous video, which you can check out with the link above, but there I only showed you how to do this workflow using only one group. So this, this time we're going to use multiple groups. Um, the workflow is pretty much the same, but we have a few minor differences as to how we set it up. The first difference is when we create our software instrument, you're going to want to create a multi-timbral instrument. And you can set up as many uh, multi-timbral parts as you want. Depends on how many groups you want in machine two. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set up three. So I'll create that. Now we have um, three MIDI channels here three instrument channels, but they're all the same under the same instrument. Um, so we have MIDI channel one, MIDI channel two, and MIDI channel three. Okay, so under the first instrument, MIDI channel one, we're gonna go ahead and set up our main instance of machine two. And we're gonna go to native instruments, machine two. Now this is important. You're gonna wanna set up multi output. And you'll see why. You don't wanna set up stereo. You want to set up multi output. Okay, now from here on out, um, the steps are pretty similar as the uh, previous tutorial, but uh, we'll go through them again. So if you didn't watch it, no problem. Um, here you have your uh, your group one. Okay, now you can create your own patterns by uh, going up here, setting patterns, drawing them in. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to create a group, and I am going to just get a kit in there um, or I'm just going to add a kit to the group with the pre-programmed uh, group okay so here you can see here's the kit and then here's pattern one okay and uh, we'll listen to pattern one there's also a pattern two pattern three but let's just say I just want pattern one So um, the first thing we have to do is with your cursor over group A1, you're going to right click or command click and go to group MIDI batch setup and you're going to want to go to sounds to MIDI notes. Then we can go over to this little icon over here, which is the MIDI drag. And we want to get this pattern um, that you see here up into MIDI channel one. So we use this icon MIDI drag and we just drag it up into MIDI channel one. And I'm not going to import the tempo information because I'm using Logic for that, so it really doesn't matter. So now we have uh, this pattern up here on MIDI channel one. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute out that pattern so you don't see it. And now when we hit play, um, you'll notice it doesn't sound right. And that's because we have to do a few things. So first thing is you're going to want to have your group A1 selected. We're going to go to this little knob and then you're going to select group. Okay. And then uh, it usually defaults to output, but um, if it does, you just select input. Okay. So you're going to select your input and you're going to create, you're going to select manual. Okay in the routings, in the key mode, manual. Now, in the last video, I left this channel setting to all, but that was because I was only using one group. Okay, so we're gonna be using multiple groups that are going on different uh, MIDI channels. So we now have to select those various MIDI channels per group. So group one is on MIDI channel one. So under MIDI channel one, we're gonna select MIDI channel one. Okay, that's the one main difference, uh, or one of the main differences. So now, uh, when we play it back, we have Logic that is now playing uh, this pattern, and it is playing through MIDI channel one. Okay, so let's create a new group. Uh, in the updated version of Machine 2, uh, to create a new group, you just hit this little plus sign that's next to the group. 
the previous group. Um, we'll hit that. And there's our B group. So let's go ahead and select another kit. And we'll just select any random kit. Okay. And uh, let's do it. All right. Kind of funky, kind of interesting. Okay. So now we're going to do the same process uh, with your mouse over uh, group B1. You're going to right click or command click, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go group MIDI batch setup sounds to MIDI notes. Okay. And then you'll be able to come down here and drag. And as long as this pattern is selected, you'll be able to drag this pattern uh, in. Okay. Uh, and again, I'm going to hit no on that tempo. If you, if you uh, don't have this pattern selected again, you won't be able to select anything to move in. So um, just know that uh, pattern has to be on the pattern has to be in here that you're actually dragging in just a little side note so um so there it is uh now we have that and we're going to follow the same steps i'm going to go down here to input uh with uh b1 selected your group b1 selected you're going to go to input and we're going to hit manual and then instead of MIDI channel one, we're going to go to MIDI channel two because we put this on MIDI channel two. So now group B1 is on MIDI channel two on MIDI channel two. And now you can get rid of the pattern and it'll play. And I'll just extend this because uh, it's a shorter pattern. <laughs> Okay, now you can hear both patterns playing together. So I have a third one set up, so let's set up, I have a third MIDI channel set up, so let's set up another group. Uh, so I'm gonna hit the plus sign again, and there's our group C. So let's just select another kit, um, anything, select the desert kit. And it's gonna get a little bit loud because we're playing three kits over each other, so I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit, but. So from the beginning. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, and then again, we follow the same pattern here. So we're gonna, with our mouse over group C1, we're just gonna right click. We're gonna hit uh, group MIDI batch setup and go sound and MIDI notes with the pattern in here. And then we're gonna, again, take our little MIDI drag icon, drag that up, say no with the tempo, bring that kit in to MIDI channel three, okay? And then we're gonna follow the same rule for this. Um, we gotta go into input and under key mode for the routing, you go manual. And then you're gonna see this uh, channel as all again, but now we're gonna select channel three because this is MIDI channel three. So now if you look um, at A1, you'll see MIDI channel one, B1 is, or group B1 is MIDI channel two and Group C1 is MIDI channel three. So, and those correspond up here to channel MIDI channel one, MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three. So now we've got everything uh, working properly. And again, you'll wanna disable this so we're not hearing it twice. And um, I'll go ahead and extend that, that um, just to make it a little longer. Okay, and there we go. All right, that could probably get a little annoying after a while. So now you're gonna notice a fundamental problem. Um, if I uh, wanted to solo one of these, I can't. Uh, so check this out. Or if I want to mute, it mutes everything. So with a multi timbral setup, that's the way it works. Like you hit, um, you hit mute on the first instance of, uh, on the first instrument, channel one, it mutes them all. Um, you could get around that if you wanted to uh, in machine itself, because if you actually click on the, uh, on the group and on the actual A1, and you hit that, you disable it. 
um, and that that actually mutes it. B1, I can mute that. C1, I can mute that. Now you don't hear anything. Unmuted. I'm only hearing C1. Unmuted. I'm hearing B1 and C1. Unmuted. I'm hearing all three again. But we don't want to do that um, through machine. We want to do that in logic. So that's where the next step comes in. And um, it's very simple. So having group A1 selected, we are now um, under this knob and under group. Um, instead of input, we're going to go to output. Okay. And where it says destination instead of master, we are going to go to external one okay and then likewise on b1 we're going to go to uh output external two and for group c1 we're going to go external three and by external it's basically saying um MIDI channel one, MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three outputs or aux output one, aux output two, aux output three, etc. Uh, doesn't quite work that way, but you'll see what I mean in the mixer. So we can close out of this now and you'll see what happens. When I go onto the mixer now in Logic, you notice down here that um, instrument one, which you see up here, shows but it shows with a little plus sign so i've got three groups in there i'm just going to click once click twice now you'll see i've got two new uh, channels that just opened up for me um, and they're aux channels so what i would do is um, to keep things kind of organized is um, now now we have independent control of uh, each each instrument. So watch what happens when I play. I can mute it so only group B is playing. I can solo only group one. And again, we're not doing it through here, we're doing it through here, in, in, which is what we want in Logic. And to keep things simple, I would just rename this like group A or group one and likewise group two and likewise group three. So now group one corresponds to group one up here on channel one. Group two corresponds to group two on channel two. And group three responds to group three on channel three. So now uh, you don't really need to utilize machine much because you can do everything here. So as you can see um, down here, I can um, control everything uh, separately. <laughs> So if I wanted to add reverb um, just on my group one, I can, um, or delay, um, we can do that. Uh, you can add um, any kind of uh, compressor to say group B, uh, mix everything individually, that's the whole point. And you can do all your side chaining stuff or any kind of effects. But now you can see we can control everything individually. Now let's say, um, oh, I wanted to add yet another group in um, machine. And I didn't set up enough uh, multi-timbral uh, instruments. Well, that's really easy to fix. With the highest track selected, which would be channel three, um, highest number track selected, 
channel three. Uh, you go up to track, you just go to other, and then you say track, new track with next MIDI channel, and that will create a channel four. Okay, so now you've got MIDI channel one, two, three, four. So now you can add another group if you want, and you'll make that, uh, you'll follow the same steps and you'll make that uh, your channel four. And everything is as follows. And you can keep going, I believe, up to 16. So you could have 16 groups in doing this workflow. So with that, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is a good workflow, especially if you want to use multiple groups, which a lot of times people do. And if you like this video, uh, please rate it. Please subscribe. Please leave comments. Uh, let me know what I can do better. Also, uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. I always uh, try to respond uh, to emails as soon as I can. So keep enjoying writing music. Keep being creative. This is Mike from BlueRoadHome.com signing out.